Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. It has been a long time before since we've done any videos in a long time. But we're hopping right back into the watery depths below to see what's happening. And it's been a long time since I've played, so let's get reacquainted. Okay. And how things work. I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys are studying, I hope the studying is going well. As always, I hope you guys are cozy and warm. Maybe you got something to drink, like tea or coffee. I got some tea with me today. Some dirty chai tea. And, uh, yeah. And we got so many awesome little creatures. God, that's awesome. Yeah. I got my teeth in, finally. It's been, God, it's been two years now since I had my teeth out. So I got an actual grin. And I can actually smile now. And not have a big gap in my face. Still getting used to it though, but it's not too bad. Okay, so I came into this with little to no plan. I was thinking maybe we could explore a little more. Uh, I'm going to eat a little more before we do that though, and then we can carry on our way. Um, yeah, I think if we explore a little more and figure out what's going on around here, might be beneficial for us to find out what's going on around here. Maybe find some new stuff, maybe some uh, things that we can start crafting. I think would be useful to us. Bit of a slow start to the episode, but... And I need health kits. That's what I need. We still have a blue tablet. Do we? Did I make extras by accident for whatever reason? Am I crazy? I mean, it has been forever since I've played this game. We have an awful lot of good stuff. Beacons, beacons. Okay. Okay. Let's get the builder out. What do we not have that we probably should have in here? Uh, the modification thing. What do we need for that? Maybe we'll just make this episode like a nice relaxing chill episode of just maybe building a little bit would be nice all right let's stock up with some good stuff that i think would be useful in building and uh, start building Too shabby. I was gonna say I need that lube, but we have some, so won't have to worry about it. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's Cyclops. Hmm. We should also build some outdoor grow beds. I think would be useful. Ah, yes, okay, now I remember. We need to be finding the stuff to make the enzymes. That is something that we need to do. So, 
on that note, I need fiber mesh to make that. Because I want a health kit generator is something that I want for sure. Do we have... Now I thought we had fiber material. Do we not? Am I wrong about that? I feel like I had that in here somewhere. Aha! Okay, I was right. Fuck, but I get too many things. Okay, um, there. So yeah, so in this episode we should try to explore to find some things that will go towards making the enzyme. That is something for sure that we should do. Uh, no, I didn't want this there. Sorry. Wrong thing. I wanted... this. This needs to go here. Good. Had everything for it. That's perfect. Um, yeah, I'll throw this in here too. Why not? Gives me a chance to grab it on the way out when, uh, if I need to. So we'll do that. What else do we need? I feel like this will come in handy, so we're going to throw it in the other room because I don't have room for it anywhere else. This is all we'll have to do. Uh, as always, my name is Eric Leahy, and welcome. <laughs> uh, did I get an MK3 for my CMOD? Why do I feel like I did, but I don't remember if I did or not? Um, excuse you. Alright, where did I leave my seam off though? Haha, uh -huh, okay. Well, we can just check while we're here and see what's... Upgrades... Is this an MK3? It's an MK... One. Sorry, Seamoth. In that case, why don't we see if we can upgrade that? Because that would be extremely, extremely useful. Enamel glass. Seamoth MK1. Seamoth MK2 plus 2 ingot. ingot. Plus steel, enamel glass. Plus steel, glass. All right, now we're getting somewhere because we could definitely use that. But do I want to? Do I use the sea moth or do I want to use? Nah, nah, we're not going to do that. As much as I like the sea moth, I think for this guy it'd be better. So let's see what we got. For the prawn suit, because I think the prawn suit's much better than the Seamoth. And I think I already have an MK2 for this one, don't I? Let's double check. If not, we can get it, but I'm pretty sure we already have that in there. I'm pretty sure we don't need power cells. I'm really trying not to waste time here, I'm sorry guys. Upgrades. I'm pretty sure this is MK2. It is. And I don't think there is an MK3 for that. But I could be wrong on that. Um, Alright, let's look for some quick water, food. I'll take that, because it might be useful. And we'll just 
put everything aside for now. Um, so we figure out exactly what we're doing. Because, as far as I know, I don't really know what we're doing, so we will find out sooner or later. Batteries. Bring one of those. Bring some of these just in case we happen to come across something that we may need them for. I doubt it, but you can never be too careful. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, please stop getting stuck. Just give me my food. I just want food. Good. What? What was that? Like that sounded like a Reaper Leviathan. Was I wrong? Sure sounded like one. Sure hope I'm wrong about that. Is this is this thing done yet? Because I want more health. Oh, fuck it's fifty one percent. Ah Well let's see what we need to make the enzyme in the first place. Okay, let's do that. Hatching enzymes. Eye stalk seed, sea crown seed, a fungal sample. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna write this down because I feel like that's a whole lot of. Oh, that's a crash fish. Fish. That's what that is. Um, okay, so, got my book here, just gonna jot this down in here. I stock, sea crown, fungal sample. I don't know exactly what that means by fungal sample, but find out, ghost weed seed. And bulb bush. Well, we know where those are. Okay, well, we got an idea of what we need now. I don't like those noises outside, but. What the fuck? Excuse me, what is glitching through right now? Let me save and then I'm going out to find out what that is. fuck was that? You guys saw that? The fuck was it? It's like glitched into... I don't like that. I don't like that. That's scary. That's that's very concerning. Eighty-one percent. I kind of want to. I kind of want to wait for that, because if I ever get hurt out there, you know, I'm gonna want that. Like, is this considered? I mean, it's table coral, but like, what would be considered like a, a fungal sample? Cause like coral shell, acid mushroom. Yeah, 
Like, I'm not entirely sure it would be considered a fungal sample. Wait, do I have any of those seeds already, currently? It doesn't look like I do. Because I could put some things in there that I might need. What about in here? Did I throw anything in there? Just a gel sack? Oops. Oh, come on, it's like 97%. So you might as well just wait. Yeah, I'm just going to wait the extra couple minutes for it, and then we'll carry on our way. Meantime, have another snack. Mmm, tasty. Have another. Mmm, tasty. I kind of wish it was day right now, but... It's fine. So we know the bulb bush, so we can pretty much get that right away. Because we know where that is. Let's, let's head out. And we're going to blue balls. That's where we're trying to go. We could basically do another big circle and grab everything that we need. So I guess in this episode we're going to be focusing primarily on getting samples. Can you not? That's right. Not going to want to follow me, dude. I'm going deep. And when you go deep, you're going to find some critters that you will not want to mess with. Just telling you, man. Take the warning. Don't follow. Okay, so let's look for anything that we think might be of use. Now, I will note that... I think blue balls. Okay, I kind of am going in the right direction, which is good. I think that uh, the crown thing that we're looking for, the ghost, what's it? Sea crown and ghost weed, I think, are both in the blood kelp zone, I think. But I don't know that for sure. So we'll have to find out. Together. Okay, so we can definitely get this sample. I think this is what we need right here. I guess we didn't get a sample. Okay, well, we need one that's further down then, I guess, eh? Guess we need one that's actually, like, on the ground, not just floating. I'm guessing the floating ones don't count. Oh, I need to go up and over, and now I'm just hovering. Not good, because now I'm going to fall. Come on, catch. Catch. And catch. Catch your breath, catch your breath, catch your breath. Good, good, good. That's what we want. That's what we need. I know this looks like we're kind of going backwards. We, we kind of are, but 
I'm trying to go over and around. And the reason being is, I hope I'm doing this right, is there is supposed to be like those actual bulb things, but it's supposed to be on the ground over here. Maybe I am going the wrong direction. But I don't think I am. That's blue balls there. So maybe we should go towards blue balls. Scanner room. Well, we got that, so we don't need that. Oh, that is blue balls. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, that scared me. Why did that... Why did that scare me? I don't know. Okay, well... Up we go. Up and over, because... We need to go up and over. I think, because I think that's where the blood cup zone is. And if we can get to the blood cup zone, then I think that would benefit us. I think we'd find more of what we're looking for in the blood cup zone. Because we found blue balls. That or I'm just wasting battery or whatever the uh, power cell. It just got very quiet very fast, and I don't know how I feel about that. Please don't slide all the way down. Let's go up and over. Come on. You can do it. Up and over. Hopefully not fall into the void. That is one thing I would like to avoid doing, is falling into the void. But I think this direction is the blood cup zone. Oh, there's life pod that we haven't been to. Maybe we can check that out while we're here. Might find something useful. Oh, is that the fungus samples? Because it looks like it. Table coral. I know it says table coral, but it looks like the fungus sample that they're talking about. Doesn't it? Like when they give the image, those look like the cut up pieces that we need. So I'll throw those in as I think so, but I'm not entirely sure. But it looks like it. I'm hoping so. But I don't really know. That's another one over there. Blue balls. Is that eye stock? I think that is. Okay, so that's one for sure. I just need to grab a piece of that without getting spiked by this creature here. High stock. We'll get a couple pieces. There, we got a couple pieces of high stock. So let's do a quick check off that that's what we have. High stock. We still don't have bulb bush, but we know where that is, so we will try to get that when we can. How we can. That's more eye stock. We don't really need any more eye stock. Let's keep our eyes open for anything else that we think might be useful.
We might have to go even deeper to uh, find what we need as well. If we have to, I hope that we don't have to go too, too deep. But we may have to go back to the depths to find exactly what we need. And I think that's another one that we need right there. I think that's a ghost plant. Yes, it is. It is exactly what we need. Ghostweed, yep. That's another one. So we're, we're on the right path here. I know I'm grabbing more than I probably need, but that's fine. I'd much rather have too much than not enough. I'm also going to try to grab some of these. Can I... Do I have to get out and grab these? Oh, that's really loud in my ears. I might have to turn that down. It's also getting very dark, so I might have to move my light so I can actually see what's happening here. Oh, it's that creature. Yo, that's cool. Please don't shock me. I don't really want to be zapped. Thank you. Fuck, that's cool, though. Oh, it's like... Uh, oh, God, what's it called? Uh, it's called Dripstone, but there's another name for it. Um, Mousite? No. What's the word? There is, I believe, a ghost leviathan around here, too. That I should be careful of. I'm hearing a whole lot of noises. A whole lot of noises I don't like. Well, we're basically coming down the scary beastie. Okay, well. Deeper we go, I guess. Please don't mess with me, I'm not in the mood. I will grab every gel sack I can, though. Because I'm going to need some food. And it's going to be a good source of food to get. I will get this egg, though, as well. On our quest to find as many eggs as possible. It... Oh, uh, that's new. We haven't heard that before. That's kind of cool. That's that's a new it's a new thing. This looks like a separate entrance into the lost forest. I like. It's new. It's different. I just hope we're not too close to, uh, to the void. Oh, you jackass. Don't be a dick. I know he will always be a dick, but don't be a dick. Okay, this place is giving me the creeps. I feel like we should try to find our way out. Stinky River. Should we go towards that? I feel like, uh... Like, we're going more dangerously deep, but... Don't know if I want to go down here. I 
Should we try to go for that? I feel like we should. But we may have to go deeper and all the way around to get there, unfortunately. I think I might have just pushed myself too deep. Stinky River is right there. And I am walking in the opposite direction like an idiot. Let's go towards Stinky River and hope that we can find our way out of here. Because uh, I think we're a little... A little deep for my comfort. So let's see if we can find a way out of here some way. Somehow. Because I feel like this might be a separate way into the Lost River. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if I really want to test it. You know? Oh, great, more debris. This might have been where I came in, actually. I think it is. Okay, good. So we're kind of back on track of where we were. So let's just keep going. There's nothing else we can do about that. Other than just keep moving forward. But hey, we got much more ahead than uh, I thought we'd get. So that's something. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, why did that scare me? Holy shit, we're here. We're like actually at the big uh, skeleton. I just scratched my nose. Okay, so when it said Skeletal Remains, that was just another entrance into the Lost River. Okay, alright. We're not really in a bad place then, I would say. I would say we're not in a bad place at all. Because we might be able to follow this down deeper to see if we can find what we need before we come back up to the surface. I think one place that we should also check, I think we should just go around and check most biomes and see if I can find what I need. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's go around and check the surface biomes a little more before we carry on aimlessly. Because we can always come back to the depths, but Yeah, let's work our way up to the surface, because we want to go... I want to check out the purple mushroom area with the weird snake things that grab you. I want to check that out, but I also want to check out... the... actual, like, mushroom forest area, and check that. Because there may be a few things that are in there that... I could... get. I still think that... that like, I'm still wondering about the fungal thing, like, what do I need for that? What is that? Okay, so this is Stinky River. We might be able to get our, uh, blue ball sample thing here. Which will be good. Um, and if we have to come deeper, then we should also... We should also try to check uh, old bases to see if there's anything, if I have to go deeper. Because I might have collected something that I thought might be useful in the future. And they might be still in the bases. And I don't know. So, 
If we have to go deeper, we'll also check bases along the way and see if I can find some stuff. Do not, do not do this to me again. I swear to God, if you warp me like an asshole back out of my base, or back out of my thing, we're going to have a problem. Do not. Oh, please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Thank you. So I guess you can't take samples from these floating ones. You actually have to get them from floor-mounted ones. So this is not what we want here. What I should try to do is stop away at my base. If I can get through all this and find my way out, I should stop at home and drop off the things I have before I continue. So if I do happen to die or my thing explodes, then I can always just exit and come back. I know it's kind of cheatsy to do that, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to uh, I'm going in the complete wrong direction, aren't I? I need to go towards blue balls, and I've been going deeper in the wrong direction. Good. Good to know. Well, at least we got quite a few things that we needed anyway, so it's not like... It's not like we you know, didn't get anything and just dicked around for the longest time. At least we have a few things that we can use. So that's good. Just gotta keep looking. Why did you just get quiet? Okay, here's some music. I don't like when it gives me long silence like that. It makes me very on edge. I mean, the opera music doesn't help either, but... Or choir music, or whatever. Okay, going out towards blue balls here. Ah! I believe we made it to the surface. Because that's blue balls right there. And we still need to find fungal sample publishing because we need to see fungal. Oh, can you can you just nod like an asshole? Jesus, I'm checking my sheet here and he's smacking me. Yes, yeah, so we should try to find a bulb bush before we continue. Just so we can mark that off our list as well. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. But even if we get most of the stuff in this episode, I'd be happy with that. Just gotta get most of it. Up and over, let's go. Okay. Well, I might have been wrong in the blue balls thing, but at least we got what we needed. Uh, maybe I need to go closer to the crash course, or the crash site, to find the blue balls that I'm thinking of. I thought those floating ones were the ones I was thinking of, but maybe I was wrong. 
I hate when the music cuts out like that. It makes me worried. Yeah, I know. I'm heading back home. I'm heading home. I have a lot more water this time than other times I've gone home. So I'd say we're doing pretty decent for ourselves. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're out. I wonder if the bulb bushes are... I'm gonna try to not get stuck here and uh, I'm gonna let my thing charge for a wee second while I sort out what I have here because I'm pretty sure that I have everything that I need to go deeper. I just need to get some water, repair this a wee bit. Repair. Okay, all right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Let's open storage. Get all this sh shit out of here. Guess I can go drop off that egg. Hey guys, guess what? You got another friend. Enjoy. He's all yours. Um. I brought these shell sacks to eat anyway, so I'll just eat them up. So we're, we're gonna make this this one here our locker for our other possibly needed junk. That's how I'll put it. Um. Okay, so sorry, I'm coming off camera here. Gonna check off. Ghost weed. So we still technically need three more things. Is what we need. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna eat first before I leave again. Check time, see how we're doing. No, we're not doing too bad on time. Let's get some food. Okay, we're sitting in a pretty good place. So we'll leave it at that. I think my battery is mostly good. Yes, it is. So I think I want to go towards the crash site and then past it. I think is what I want. I want to do this all without looking up a walkthrough. I really don't want to have to look up a walkthrough, but I may have to. And I need to break the surface of the water so I can see if I'm heading in the right direction. I am. Okay. So I think this is the direction that we actually want to go in. Guess I might as well go towards like pods. Oops, sorry buddy. Didn't mean to smack you.
Yeah, okay, so we'll head in this direction and... Please don't hit me. Good. So we need bulb bush, the crown one. Hmm. I wonder, have I scanned? Think so. I was just wondering if I might have scanned any of those um, if I have some time in this episode as well I'm going to try to go back I should check the tops of these reef backs they might have stuff growing on them that I can use as well if I can get on one of them that is they are pretty high up I may not be able to reach these guys. Yep. Nope. Can't reach those guys. Sorry. Okay, but we made it to the mushroom forest. Which I think connects to the bulb tree forest thing. So I think regardless, this is what we want anyway. I believe we also have, ah, fungal. Uh, did I get what I needed? Haha, <laughs> I did. See that? Smart, very smart. I got it, good. Okay, so it wasn't coral sample, it was an actual fungal tree in the mushroom forest. So it was good I came here. Because that's what we needed. I know we're not done yet. Okay, so we got that. So I'm going to mark that off as well. Sorry to leave the camera again. I can remember where I just set my pen down. There it is. Fungal. Down. So we're missing two. The C crown and the bulb. But I'm pretty sure I can get the bulb somewhere around here. If I remember things correctly. Which I'm probably not. So don't take my word for it. But Aha! There they are right there. So I'm right. And there's the bulb. Good. Let's turn around and get the fuck out of here. Before we get grabbed by, uh... By Reaper Leviathan, because they are scary as shit. Why is it that I'm, like, not overly scared of the Sea Dragon Leviathan, or even the Ghost Leviathan, but as soon as it comes to the Reaper Leviathan, that shit is scary as fuck. And I have no clue why the Reaper Leviathan just gets to you. Ow, dick. I'm trying to catch the mesmer. I want him. Punched him. Alright, these guys are just gonna chew me up, so I better get out of here now.
Oh, please don't get stuck. Not here, not now. Oh, look, some of the things I needed before that I couldn't find. Good job, me. Wait, which way am I going? Am I going in the right direction or wrong direction? Probably the wrong direction. Like a dummy. Um. Also, were Mesmers always out here? I thought they were only deeper. Am I dumb? Probably. So don't answer that. Okay, so I think all we need is the sea crown now. I think we have everything that we actually need. Some nice mechanical sounds. So what does this sea crown actually look like? Let's take a look. Um, benzene, hatching enzyme. Sea crown, it's like a bluey... Oh... Do you think that might be down in like the lost forest, like farther down when you get into the kind of blue glowy area? Where the giant cove tree is? That's where that might be. That actually might be be there. Also, a side note, what if every plant I needed was in that area with the sea uh, emperor? Can you imagine that? You go on this long journey to find everything, but really it's all been there the, the entire time. I sure hope that's not true because that thought just occurred to me, and I thought, oh, well, sure hope not. But at least we kind of know what we're supposed to be looking for, so that's good. At least it gives you a little picture, too, of what you need to be finding. Otherwise, it'd be very frustrating. I'm going in this hole. Excuse me as I burp. I honestly don't know where you'd find a sea crown or whatever it's called. The blue look looks like something you'd find like farther past the uh But I really don't know. At least we have 90% of it. So there is that. We could always try to go back through the gate and see if there is a sample of it there, actually. We could do that. And just leave the sea moth outside. To come back to. Here's my beautiful home. Hello, bladderfish. Okay. Well, I think we're in a pretty good place. We have pretty much 90% of it. We just need one more thing left to make it. So I'd say we're in a pretty good place. At least that's what I would say. Hey, another medkit. Nice. Have I been healing a little bit over time? Because I don't think I used my medkit at all. It looks like I've healed. 
and we have more samples. I think we only need one of each, though. So let's build another locker while we're at it, because we might as well. Oh, I picked up glass and sieve quartz, like a dummy. Here. Give me. Because I definitely know I'm grabbing more than I need, but... I'd rather be safe than sorry. Have anything in my guy? Anything at all? I don't know if I actually picked anything up. I got some stuff, but it's not of any use. Hmm. I have no bed anymore, eh? Really nice to sleep right a bit now. What's it take to make a bed? Fiber, mesh, titanium. Hmm. Let's make a bed, shall we? Do I have what I need to make a bed? Oh, sorry, I need to make the fiber mesh. Need two of them. God damn it. Okay. Alright. My bad. Let me just swim my way over here, grab one piece of kelp, so I can then make a bed. I wonder. I wonder if I go in there if there might be something of use. Nope. Just dangerous path I could have taken. Okay. Good. There's my creep find sample. Salt. And we may have to wait till the next episode of this to find the last component. So I don't know. We did have a pretty slow start. We really did. Looks like it's becoming daytime again. Oh, I can put it right in the staircase. Isn't that nice? Alright, well. Let's get this out here. Can I make it here now? Hey, I can kind of make it there. Nice. Okay, good. Got a bed now. Hey, it's pretty good. Let's reassign. Here. Answer. Okay, how are we doing on time? Oh, we got about 20 minutes. Okay, good. 
that's all good and I don't have anything in here that I really need on me let's stock up on food and then go again here okay I guess let's go down to the lost forest or the lost river and I guess see if we can find the crown thing. Because the blue glow does look like the creatures that you would find down farther into a kind of bluish glowing river that's there. Along with the giant cove tree. I feel like it'd be there along that path. If not, we just come right back up. Might have to end the episode there, though, but... Who knows? We may get lucky. No, unless we try, though. So I guess onward we go. Into the depths below. Alright, so it kind of looks like a bluish glow like these balls here. Excuse me for yawning. Alright, let's head down into the stinky river. Got good battery, good health, good everything. So I think we're I think we're in a good place. I really think we are. I guess we'll find out. There are a few other places we can check though to find it. Because it's literally the only thing we need now. I will save before we go any deeper. Oh, it's still saving. Okay. You motherfucker. Can you not? God, you guys are dicks. Where's my suit, you, you wieners? God. I can never know how far away they warp me. But man, does it get on my nerves. I'm just trying to go, my guys. Like, I'm trying to fix things. Why are you so dead set against me? Hi? Ah, oh, Stinky River. See, they got me all turned around. I'm going in the wrong direction. Probably gonna warp me out again like an asshole. Knowing them, they would. And they have. And they will do it again. Because that's what they do. They just dick with you. Hi, crab squid, where are you? Hi. You miss me. Oh, you're coming from behind, okay. Oh, good thing I'm not sticking around. How about you don't? And say you did. Hey. Okay. Okay. Alright. Ooh, I should check that area and see if there's like a sample of it in there. I think that would be smart to do, you know?
What was that? That sounded oddly techno sounding, like a robot talking. Did you guys hear that too? Or is that just me? Well, I'm glad that the game seems to be running pretty smooth. For me at least. I don't know about uh, the capture. I hope it's not corrupted or anything, but... Everything seems to be looking fine and doing fine. Hi buddy, I'm back. Did you miss me? I know you definitely didn't. Yeah, it seems to be running pretty buttery smooth. No lag, no nothing. I really hope the capture is capturing this nice and smooth. Without any issues. Alright, so let's quick check in here. That a terminal. Ruby, mine. Oh, I can scan this. Alien research equipment? How did I not scan this before? What? Whoa, hello. That's neat. Okay, well, it doesn't look like it's in here, so let's not waste any time. That's kind of cool. There's like a drop in from up in there. From the blood kelp zone down into here. That's pretty. I mean, I'm really glad that's there because otherwise. You know, we wouldn't be as far as we are right now. I'd be still trying to probably get out of there. Huh. So. We're in a pretty good spot. Keep saying that, but it's true. I think we're doing very well for ourselves. Quick time check again. I will have to end the episode soon. I'm really hoping I can find everything before we have to end the episode, but... When the timer goes off, I gotta end the episode. So we'll find out. By the time this recording's done, it's gonna be 2 o'clock. So I won't be recording another one tonight. And if we don't find it here, I will just search it and try to find it that way. Um, just so we can keep the progression going. I don't want to slow us down or stop us. Also, no ghost leviathan. I mean, I don't even hear it. Like, there is no ghost leviathan. Did it glitch? Did they go up to the roof or in through the floor or something? Because you usually hear it. Hmm. Alright, good. So let's... Let's keep going on our path here. Remember that one way we could have gone? Uh, down way, way, way deep. Basically where the second dragon of Leviathan was guarding the Sea Emperor area. There was another area that we could have gone up. But we didn't. I wonder if that leads anywhere specific. We may have to check that out soon, because, you know, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, obviously I won't get to everything. Uh, I'm not going to do, like, a perfectionist run or anything like that. You probably know that already. Um, but I can certainly check some things that I'm definitely curious about. Ouch, I am stuck. That could have been really bad. I will check over by this containment area, because maybe the crown thing's over here. 
Maybe. I got no clue. I'm just going to check. I'm going to be really mad if I search where it is and it's somewhere really dumb. Like somewhere that I've probably already been or already walked through. And maybe you guys noticed it in one of my other videos and I just never knew. And yeah, fun. This is still one of my favorite games of all time, though. That has not changed. This is like my third time playing it. Like doing a playthrough of it. And I still refuse to launch the ship. So with this uh, series, when it ends, which I might even just do some building for fun for uh, an episode. Um, where is this leading me? Is it bad I want to see? This is cool. It's leading me to a whole different area. I'm down. Let's see what's going on over here. Unless this just loops around. Which it may. Um... Yawn, yawn, yawn. Sorry. Very tired. It's been a very good weekend, but also a very exhausting weekend. So it's a bit of everything. Where is this taking me? Oh! Hi! Okay, uh, I feel like I shouldn't be here. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't be here. Take me back. Take me back up. Nope. Uh-uh. I was not ready for that. Okay. Nope. That was a mistake. Where'd he go? He was like just here. Oh man, is he like glitching again or something? I sure hope not. Okay, good. Yeah, so let's get back up there and carry on from where we wanted to be, because... Jesus. That was not, uh... what I necessarily wanted. Quick time check, make sure I'm not... Well, I got five minutes, so. Five minutes to get where I need to be, quick check there, and then if it is there, it is there. If it ain't, then we're going to have to end the episode there, because otherwise I'm just kind of dicking around. And, uh, yeah. Sorry, guys, if you're actually seriously trying to watch me, uh, nothing exciting is happening. But if you've been to the channel before, you'll probably know this is what it's like. It's very... Just play and see what happens. It's not... But that's why I wanted these Let's Plays to go. You know, I always wanted them to be drawn out long and stuff. Because they're nice to listen to, they're nice to watch, 
you can kind of hang out, have, like, play in the background where I do another stuff. And uh, it doesn't uh, bother you, which is nice. Well, hopefully it doesn't bother you. Oh, I'm still getting a little bit used to the, the teeth being in my face. And this is where we need to be. Let's do a quick check and then call it a day. Cause I'm getting tired of hunting around for one plant. Before I'm not seeing it. That's well, not too. It's not too encouraging. You guys know where it's coming from, right? When I'm looking at this, going, eh, it's gotta be here, right? I mean, it makes sense. The color matches. The kind of aesthetic matches. Although it may be in with the actual Emperor. Because of the fact that uh, it says Sea Crown or something. Might be in there with her. Yeah. You know what, I don't think it's here. Unfortunately. All right, well, we'll pick up some of these gel sacks along the way as food. And I guess we'll get out of here because it ain't here. Well, that sucks. All right, well. I guess I'll leave you at the site of the cove tree as I end the episode, and then I'm going to take my prawn suit back up to the surface. Just because it doesn't need to be all the way down here. If it's not down here, it's not down here. That sucks. Oh, gonna miss it. Nice. Damn it, just need to get up there. Come on. There we go. Think I got enough jump boost to get up? I sure hope so. Okay. I'll leave you at this site. Because this is a beautiful, gorgeous site. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, go down and like. Like, comment, and subscribe. Go down and to the comment section. Let me know what you liked, what you, what you didn't like. Always helps the channel. Man, I'm getting used to my teeth. I feel like we got pretty far. Considering I kind of dicked around and took my time doing stuff. We're only missing one. One key component. That's all we need. And we can build the enzymes and start doing the finishing things. One episode I might just do some building for fun and collect some resources. Just for fun. Just because I enjoy the game, I love the aesthetic, I love how beautiful it is. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope the studying went well for you. If you're studying, if you're just hanging out, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, 
Stay cozy.